Another round of layoffs is set to hit Brilliant Iron Works. This time, 46 employees will be out of work. Last August, the company had an even bigger layoff. Fox 11's Kelly Schlick looks at how the city is coping. It's very unsettling. You know, you, you never get used to it. Brilliant Mayor Gary Dieter says he worked at Brilliant Iron Works for 37 years before retiring about six years back. Oh, I started at the Brilliant Iron Works in 1970, and I was laid off uh, just about every, every year. And then when I, when I got more seniority, in, into the plant, well, then I stayed a little bit longer. Dieter says he understands supply and demand, but still feels for the 46 people who will be laid off next Monday. This will be a temporary layoff. They'll have the ability to return to work when orders improve, which we expect to happen later this year. Brilliant Ironworks is owned by the parent company Accuride Corporation. Its director of public affairs says global markets for construction and mining equipment parts remain soft. Nearly 200 workers were laid off here last August when production had dipped. We had, have not brought those employees back. The orders are still fairly weak. The mayor says while Brilliant Ironworks does occasionally hire back the workers that it lays off, those hirings have not been as numerous as in decades past, and that's starting to take a toll on the economy in this city. We have potential people would like to come to Brilliant, but economic conditions are preventing them to do that. Brilliant Ironworks will employ 455 people after this latest round of layoffs. Dieter says it's going to take a bigger economic boom to get his former employer running like it used to. We're going to have people working, don't get me wrong, but not as many as we would like. I'd like to see back up to a thousand employees like we used to have going there. In Brilliant, Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News. And a spokesperson for Accuride Corporation says aside from the layoffs, all of the employees at Brilliant Ironworks are on a week-long furlough that started today.